In this video, we will discuss about WAF. WAF means Web Application Firewall. As the name suggests, Web Application Firewall. So this is a special type of firewall which is used to protect web applications or web application based security vulnerabilities. If there is any weaknesses in your web application, so still you can use this type of firewall to protect your server and services. Now you may thinking why not to use a firewall? So we discuss different type of firewall. The traditional firewall limit to function based on the source IP, source and destination port, source and destination IP, and they do normal net and VPN things. And they make decision based on the port protocol and IP addresses. So it's not practical to protect our web application. So traditional firewall is out of the picture. Now coming to you may thinking that you say that next generation firewall can do a lot of things. Yes, it's true. So why not to use next generation firewall to protect our web application? Yes, somehow we can use next generation firewall to protect our web application, but not 100%. Why? Let me give an example of real world. If you have any issue in your ear or maybe in your throat, so what you will do? You can go to MBBS doctor. Yes, it's okay. But the best way is to go to the specialist of ear, which ENT. So you need to go to the ENT, which is specialist in the ear. So they can suggest you the best thing, even though you can go to normal doctor. So in this case, next generation firewall is a MBBS normal doctor to protect your web application. But the best way is to go to the specialist. So for the web application firewall, this is a specialist. For web application, we need to install web application firewall. Normally, F5 have their own a solution also Fortinet have their own solution for web you may thinking why what is the difference why not to use the next generation firewall and also an interview they can ask you this one that if next generation firewall can do all the stuff why we need web application firewall so let me show you this is a vulnerable server Okay, and I'm logging with student 2. Let's go to the student 2 control panel. Now for manipulation, what I will do here, I will just change student 2 detail and I will put star and it will show all the details of all user, their credit card detail, their addresses. Can this next generation firewall protect us from such a such type of attack? No. Yeah. Somehow they can do because we have these top 10 web application security risk. Okay, this is for the year 2017. This is 2021 and this is the latest one maybe such as injection, SQL injection. Yes, next generation firewall can protect you from such attack. Broken authentication somehow, but not at all. Sensitive data. So yes, somehow the next generation firewall can do. Then we have cross site scripting, broken access control, maybe not next generation. Cross up, yes, somehow, maybe next generation firewall can help you, but not at all. And then insecure things and vulnerabilities. And then we have insufficient logging and monitoring and so many other stuff which is mentioned here. So all these things, somehow next generation firewall maybe protect your web server, but not 100%. I give you a simple example of this one. Field manipulation, I done this one. Yeah, maybe other stuff can be protected by next generation. This is just a simple example. I just changed this one. How the next generation firewall will detect this? Did somebody type there is a star and they manipulate the data and it show no. So that's why we need a special and this is the vulnerability in the web server. 
So this type of vulnerability require a special type of firewall which we call them web application firewall. Next generation firewall can do URL filtering, antivirus, anti-malware, intrusion prevention and more. But WAF especially target application traffic. It protect HTTP and hyper, we call them hypertext transfer protocol, secure or HTTP traffic such as cross-site scripting attack, distributed denial of service, yeah, next generation can do this one for you. SQL injection somehow can do next generation firewall. So it will protect the attack on OSI model layer 7 on the application level. So most of the thing, thing can be done by next generation, but not all the stuff. So that's why we require a special type of firewall, which we call them WAF, Web Application Firewall, to protect your data center web application from any type of attack. You get the point? And the most famous one is by the F5, which you may heard about the F5, F5 ASM, they call them ASM, now they call them WAF and also Fortinet have and there are many other vendors they have their own solution so this is the major difference WAF has basically two security model okay positive security model and negative security model just to quickly tell you so you can use these two type of model to secure your web applications so I hope so now you get the idea that why we need web application firewall and why not to use next generation firewall? So normally we use this web application firewall, okay, to protect our website, e-commerce, mobile application, other online web related application, HTTP and HTTPS related traffic from any sort of attack. I just give an example of only one thing, but it can be many. It can be cross site scripting, it can be different requests, Maybe these requests pass by next generation firewall. No, they don't know this type of concept. Maybe in the future, but not right now. So that's why we need uh, a such type of to protect our server from such type of attack. Okay, and it protect the from layer seven. So I give you, these are the top 10. Okay, we can use this OWASP top 10 so that you can get the idea the top 10 vulnerability which can be found okay and the uh, and the web applications and all these can be easily protect using the WAF okay web application firewall